Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a Halloween related video because the other day I was just feeling kind of boring. I felt like I never really got into like the full like Halloween spirit, especially in my house because when I decorate for this time of year, it's all like very neutral and fall. And I was like, I need to bring some like actual like Halloween spirit into this house. So I sat down and tried to think of some fun projects that I could do. And I came up with three super easy projects. I did them all in an afternoon and I wanted to do this video for you guys, at least to give you like a week's time before Halloween comes but I made personalized gift bags like little treat bags for my nieces and nephew but also for like the neighborhood kids they're more like personalized you just like take one and go instead of just having like the big bucket of candy where like everyone will be touching it so I made those which were honestly so easy and then I made a doormat that I hand painted and made it super like Halloween related. Even though it's snowing out right now, I'm seeing it in my window. Um, I just thought it was so fun and I wanna do it for like every season now. And then the last thing, I made this awesome like super Halloween related um, gift basket for David to take to his coworkers. And in the video, I talk more about like what goes in it, but I just made it super festive and I thought it was a perfect thing to do for coworkers, a friend, a neighbor, just like anybody that you kind of want to give like a fun seasonal like festive gift to. So that's definitely something I'm going to be doing again like for Christmas and any of the bigger holidays. Uh, but yeah, like I said, they're all super easy. I hope that you guys enjoy them and let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so for the treat bags, they're super simple. I just bought these bags from Michaels. They're just plain white little treat bags and then I'm going to use my label maker that I got off of Amazon and for some of them I will personalize so I'll probably do like some for my nieces and nephew and use their names otherwise um, for like the neighborhood kids I'll probably just write some like Halloween sayings and then I thought on the back after I fill them with candy and I might put some of these little rings in there which I loved as a kid so I thought at the end I would fold them over and then I found these super cute stickers from uh, Michaels as well and just use those to kind of seal them on the back um, and I thought it was just maybe a good way that like kids aren't all touching like the same candy and they can just grab a bag and then that's it but I just thought they would be kind of fun to do so I'm gonna start I'll maybe start with my niece's name. Okay, these are obviously the personalized ones, which I think are so cute. It's obviously so simple, but I think it's really cute and still like Halloween-y. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fill these with some candy and some fun little rings. All right, for the gift basket, I basically just went to Target and bought a bunch of stuff, including this little basket that I'm going to fill up with everything. So just to give some examples, you can obviously do this for like any holiday or um, I have seen people start doing these for um, nurses when you're like going into labor. Um, I think like a Christmas one for coworkers or a neighbor or something like that would be super fun. But for this Halloween one, I just got a bunch of different things. But for the stuff that's inside the basket, the two things that I kept in mind were the color of things. I really wanted to keep things more like orange and black and like really Halloween-y because I wanted this to be more of a fun basket. And then I also wanted things that were more like individual so people don't have to share a ton of stuff just because of obviously everything going on. I just wanted to get like, I don't know, more like pre-packaged 
snacks and stuff that is just kind of for like one person so what i started off with was i got this cute popcorn so i got a caramel corn and a little like cheddar popcorn um they have a keurig at their office so i bought some like pumpkin spice coffee and i'm just gonna kind of throw those throughout the basket this is one thing that is not really like a single thing but it's a dental office and i just couldn't pass these little gummies up so i got those um a bunch of different gum um these little chocolate covered pretzels that i thought the bags were so cute so I have a ton of those that will fill the basket. I got some Coke Zero, um, just some more candy, um, these different kind bars. And then instead of just doing all snacks, I wanted to get them. So he works at a dental office where it's all girls. So I was pretty safe with getting a bunch of this type of stuff, but I bought um, some nail polish. This is actually like one of my favorite uh, colors. It's Wicked. It's actually what I have on my nails right now. Then I got some hand lotion, some nice like scrunchies, a few um, different types of face masks, and then some chapstick as well. So that is kind of what's gonna fill the main part of the basket. And then I'm gonna need some tissue paper to fill it. And then I found this little guy at Target as well. And I'm gonna hang him from the basket and then put like maybe a little gift tag on it just to Say happy Halloween and all that so we're basically just gonna play around and fill this little basket and I think it's gonna be so cute I feel like this is officially gonna be like a tradition that I do for like every holiday for um, people in his office because I just think it's so fun and I like love shopping for this it's just like a cute idea so let's put it together all right the first thing i'm going to start off with is just filling the basket with some tissue paper just to have a little base to the gift and then i also have a bunch of this like crinkly craft paper that is perfect for gift baskets and i thought it was just kind of cute so i'm gonna spread that out to the bottom as well all right so once we have all of the tissue and everything in we'll probably play around with that as we go but the next thing is to start with kind of your biggest items. So this um, popcorn is definitely one of the bigger things in the basket. So I'm gonna start with that more in the back and just start layering that stuff. I also have a ton of these little pretzels. So I'm gonna put a bunch of those on the bottom and then I'll also like probably put a couple on the top just so you can see them. But um, yeah, I just have so many of these that I'm gonna kind of use those too as like a little filler the last thing i'll do is anything that's like super heavy so really the only thing that's heavy are these little cokes so i'll probably do those next and just put those in so now that we have the tall things and anything that's heavy the rest is just kind of like filler so i'm just gonna go ahead and play around with this and fill the rest of the basket So here's what the basket looks like now. So I basically just kept any of the taller stuff in the back and then just kind of filled it full um, down below and just kind of stacked everything. And I'm gonna go through and just add kind of some little fun details. So I just have these like little plastic rings that I feel like they're just kind of fun to have. I doubt any of them will want them, but I just feel like they look cute in the basket. So I'm just gonna kind of stick those all throughout. Oh, now I'm going to make a little tag for the front of the basket. I found this little bat skeleton from Target and I didn't even know this, but he hangs from his feet, which makes sense, but it's so funny. So I'm going to put that on the front and then I'm going to create a little tag um, just saying like Happy Halloween and then writing David's name on it. Here is the little tag and I'm actually just going to kind of set that like right in the center and that's it. I'm 
Okay, so for the Halloween outdoor um, doormat, all you need is a blank doormat. I got this one from Ikea. I think it's a roughly around like $6 or something. And then just some acrylic paint. This is just white and then black. You can do obviously any colors you want. Some paint brushes, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of painter's tape just as a guide. But I'm gonna do this freehanded. I'm sure you could just get stencils if you don't feel comfortable doing freehand, but I am going to do it freehand myself. But yeah, like I said, stencils or something like that would totally work. So I'm going to start off by taping off my rug. I kind of have a design in mind. I just want to write out the word boo and make it kind of look a little 3D and then just do small little like dots or X's around it. So. What I'm gonna do is just kind of figure out where I want Boo to be and kind of map that out so that that can be straight. So I'm just gonna take painter's tape and tape off a little guide for myself. I'm gonna start with white acrylic paint first and kind of begin the lettering. So I'm just gonna do it really lightly first just to make sure I have enough space for everything. Now that we have the white done, I'm gonna go in with a really skinny um, paintbrush and just outline the lettering in black. Now that outline is done, I want these to look a little 3D, so I'm gonna add a shadow to the left side of all the letters. So I'm just gonna start off by kind of like drawing it out, but I'm just kind of gonna eyeball this as well. Just kind of lightly do this. So I have the lettering done. So now I'm just gonna go in, I think with black and white and just do little X's kind of all over just to add a little bit more to the mat. But so far it's been super easy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the small paintbrush and just do little X's all over. <laughs> 